Rescuers forced to make a tough choice in the hope of saving a man's life after an industrial accident in Phoenix. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Katie Rammel. They amputated his arm to free him from a piece of industrial equipment. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas is live at the Rock and Gravel business where this happened. And first of all, Lauren, how's he doing? Amazingly, he is in stable condition tonight at Good Samaritan Hospital. Fire officials tell me they were forced to perform an on-site amputation right here on site at Sunland Materials when this man's entire arm became stuck in that conveyor belt. You can see it's the one directly in the middle. They say they were forced to remove his arm all the way up to just below his shoulder. Now, this happened just after 9 o'clock this morning here at the site, described as a sand rock and gravel business. They're not sure exactly how his arm got stuck in the machine, but say he was somehow able to call his boss for help, who then called 911. Once emergency crews got on scene, they realized that this machine was so large and heavy and the patient was suffering so much blood loss that the only option was to remove his limb immediately. I think that the members that, that were took part in that, none of us want to do it, but we understand the big picture and how by us doing that, we're actually going to help this person get away and get into some place where they can get some treatment. Now, the owners of Sunland Materials here are not commenting at this time, but fire officials tell me that this investigation will likely be passed on to OSHA, so we'll hope to learn more about what exactly caused this incident in the coming weeks. Able to make his own call for help, an incredible survival story. Thank you, Lauren.